It's amazing. The run continues seven consecutive finals, but there is a run on the road as we get to go on the road with help from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Time now to go on the road. Click it or tick it. Uh, so far, they've been winning it. The Cavaliers on a near record run, three behind the Lakers with their wins on the road. They've also won in the last couple of years on the road here. Kyrie Irving, a big part of that. We talk about Kyrie and what he's been able to do. Obviously, a big part of what has happened over the last few years is the maturation process. And he talked earlier on today about how different he is now, Smitty, to when he first got there with a lot of help from LeBron. What growth, as we sit now in the third part of the trilogy, have you seen in Kyrie from the player that you watched? Well, I think leadership won. I mean, playing to win. He's always been a fantastic one-on-one -on -one player. I think for him it was uh, earlier just showing people, improving I could be one of the best point guards, but now he's saying I can still be one of those best point guards, but I can get my teammates involved, I can help other guys, and the game is slowed down. And for me, for a game to slow down for a guy that already had the game under control as far as ball handling, I think now, Isaiah, you can speak better to, to this from playing that position at a Hall of Fame level. It seemed like in his head, he understands every counter he wants to do. He understands when to go, and that had to be hard, playing, against, playing with LeBron James, another guy who, who dominated the basketball, but to me, for him not to be the primary ball handler and yeah. still can dominate in spurts versus having the longevity of a 48-minute game and still be one of the best is, is, is unreal. Zeke, when you look at what the two have done, Mike Brown said these are two of the best one-on-one -on -one players we've ever seen in the league. How about what they've been able to do when you talk about offensively here during the course of this run? Well, what makes them so complete, and, and Smitty, you hit it right on the head, his game has evolved. Not only is he a scorer, but he's also a facilitator now and a passer. And we see them putting you know, Kyrie now at the, at the high post looking to be a facilitator as he hits LeBron James on a backdoor cut. These two are so in sync. We know he's good with the ball. I don't know how he gets away and gets out of all this traffic, but normally this is a layup, Smitty. But mm -hmm. he spots LeBron James coming down the middle for the dunk. These two are playing so well with each other and off each other. And now what Ty Lewis said, okay, we're going to put these two in pick and roll. Now who do you switch on? Who do you guard? And you can see the confusion here because LeBron James can go off the dribble. Kyrie Irving can go off the dribble. They both can pick and pop. So in terms of pick and roll, these two are very dangerous and a really difficult cover. Kyrie's gotten better also, Zeke, when we look at the numbers as we've gone through the rounds here in the playoffs. And clearly and understandably, when you've got two of the great players, including the best in all the world, they get a lot of the attention.